Hey, what peeps, how's it going? Hope all is well. Today, I think we're on episode number six of our FIFA 22 player career here with Remy Delbeck at Inter Milan in the Serie A. We're currently third in the league uh, for five points off AC Milan and Lazio are three points above us. Roma, one point behind us. Juve, two points. And Bergamo Calcio, who I don't know who that is. They are uh, four points off us. We're currently 76 overall as a cam, 17 years of age. Uh, we're still on the lowness. We're a star right now. Uh, 19 matches five goals and four assists uh someone did say actually they wanted us to edit a pro get the undershirt going of course i always listen to you guys i just want to change the boots gonna go to these boots get the high socks going and people are saying get an undershirt i'm all for it now it's been going well so far with Roman Dubek. i've been enjoying it you guys have been enjoying it of course we're only we're 76 overall we're only 17 years of age we're still loan listed now we've not really got many decent loan offers I've, the whole point of this series was originally to go out on loan um, and try to work our way up to the starting 11. But then I didn't realize, obviously, that it's very, very easy to level up. Now, a lot of people in the comments have been saying different stuff like only do a certain amount of training. Don't spend all your skill points and stuff like that, which uh, I do agree with. Oh, wow. We're playing Lazio first. Massive. Um, I understand what everyone's saying and everything. So, we'll, we'll, you know, as we go, we'll learn more and more of how we actually want to do it. Um, oh, we have some big matches in January. Big matches. And we have PSG coming up in the round of 16 next episode with Roma and Napoli. A few big episodes. Today we'll focus on January, though. First match against Lazio. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to do in terms of um, being loaned out, being transferred, uh, and with uh, regards to training, whether or not you think we should be doing regular training or not. Ooh, Immobile. Lovely hair. They'll go in there. Mm -hmm. They'll go white. We'll go dark. We'll go not blue. Of course, we turned this new thing recently, player-based difficulty. Star players on the CPU AI team will have enhanced intelligence while they are being controlled. So I think Chiro Immobile will be one of them. Jekko and Karab top will in the middle alongside Berea and Gagliardini. See, the thing is, Gagliardini is 77 overall and he's starting. Ranocchia is 73 overall and he's starting. You know, Paris is only 80 overall, so we're not that far off. It's just the fact that we're 17, oh, uh, 17 years of age. I want to attach to get loaned out first and actually grow as a player, but I don't think it matters too much. Let me know, do you want to stay as a starter for Inter Milan or uh, be loaned out or transferred somewhere else? This is a massive game. Lazio against Inter Milan, this is absolutely massive. I do quickly want to say at the beginning of the episode, I want to get out of the way. If you haven't already, I highly, highly recommend you follow us over on Twitch. Link in the description. There'll also be like pop-ups on screen telling you link in the description. Um, a lot of people have been asking, if you missed it, basically, we started a live-streamed player career mode on FIFA as a left winger. We started with Arsenal. And the first episode or the first stream of it was on YouTube and Twitch. Um, and then YouTube uh, took it down because halfway through, we went on F1. And I accidentally showed the intro to F1 and they basically copyright struck the video and took it down So the video is no longer on the channel. It was, it was supposed to stay on the channel as Remy Delbeck takes the first shot of the game The video was meant to stay on the channel, but they end up taking it down So you can't see it anymore, but basically we started a player career mode and um, It's been a lot of fun and we've been continuing over on Twitch. We, we just ended season three actually um, so we've been playing a lot of it. So if you are a FIFA 22 fan or a FIFA fan in general and you want to see more player career, because I know a lot of people have been, have been commenting saying, oh, where's the live stream gone? What, what's happened to the live stream? So I just want to address it in this video, which of course most people will see. Um, so if, yeah, if you do want to see more my career series, we're currently in season three. We've left Arsenal and we've joined Barcelona and our first match of the season is uh, the El Clasico against Real Madrid. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We've also changed from left mid to a striker. We, we, we tested the whole change position thing just to see how it worked. And now we are a striker, so should be fun. Go follow on Twitch, and hopefully we'll see you over there. Got to be careful of Chiro Immobile. I think he's one of the top goal scorers in the league, it was talking about. There you go. History beckons. Good timing, EA. Good timing. Is that Iosi Perez? It is. Where's Chiro? Luis Alberto. They have... Uh, um, what's his name? Felipe Anderson out on the left as well. They have a very good team, Lazio. We're messing about with it. Luis Alberto with a shot. Good save. Handanovic. I've been talking a lot recently about potentially, because uh, normally we have two player Karimans at the same time. Like before, we had Thomas Vega and Carbo Zondo. Uh, normally, we have two going at the same time, but obviously, we have a main one, which was Carbo Zondo, and then we start another one, which was Thomas Vega. So, Remy Dobek is our main one. Uh, after a few months of Remy Dobek, we may start a new one. As we're in behind here, I'll save that thought for a moment. Our finish is not great, but we get it on our right foot. Oh, I thought we scored. 
Oh, we've actually gone and bottled it. Our finishing's not been great. We should be upgrading it realistically because we're getting chances like that. One on one. Hit. We, we, maybe we should look for the assist there. Maybe I should look for the square. That was terrible. Uh, what I was going to say anyway after that Handanovic save is our new player, Karim. Oh, I'm going to take a long shot here. Going to take a long shot here. Another good save for Kosha. Remy Delbert getting chances. Uh, we may look to do a goalkeeper. I'm not too sure. You can change the position now too, which is nice. So if we do make, maybe our next player can like every season he changes position. I don't know. But um, we may do a cheeky bit of goalkeeping in our next my player. Obviously, near the time I will make community posts. So keep an eye out on our community tab because I like to make a lot of posts. Uh, and we do a lot of polls asking you guys about the position and nationality and stuff like that. Uh, you guys basically make our my players, so we'll probably do that nearer the time. But for now, obviously for now we're focusing on Remy Delbeck. We're not making anyone anytime soon. It's just in the future. Oh, we missed that. We're dominating Lazio here. Just can't score though. But yeah, I just want to say, follow on Twitch for the live stream one. We may be making a new my player soon. Now let's focus on Remy Delbeck. I'm loving Remy Delbeck, by the way. The only thing I don't like is that we're already at 76 overall. And I know a lot of people say, like, oh, just don't spend your skill points, blah, 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 blah. But if they're there, if we earn our skill points and they're there, I don't see why, like, I don't see the point in just not using them, you know? It doesn't make sense to me. So, so we've changed the story. Instead of doing the whole, we're going to go out on loan every season and work our way up to Inter Milan, we've changed that. And instead, we're basically like a wonder kid. We're basically like a, a, an Mbappe... Um, you know, Messi when he first started, like, we're like a wonder kid at 17 years of age. Well, we're not, we're only 76 overall, but I'm hoping we can turn out to be a wonder kid. Going to switch it out to the left, over to Perisic. Comes back to Remy Delbeck. One last shot off the half, gets blocked. We get a corner. God, we've had a lot of shots as Remy Delbeck. We've had a lot of shots in this first half. One more maybe on the half volley. Another good save for Kosher. There's the half-time whistle, nil-nil. We are absolutely peppering them. Correa out to Rafinha. Into Remy Delbeck, easily tackled. Luckily, we keep possession. Out to Rafinha again. Making a run in behind. He doesn't see Delbeck. Rafinha now trying to get rid of it. High sedge with the tackle. Keep the press on, keep the press on. Oh, is that AC Milan scoring? It is indeed AC Milan. Still top of the league, our rivals winning their game. We need to keep, uh, to keep the pressure on and win our game now. Come on. I know it's a hard game against Lazio, but we've been peppering them. We've shown that we can score against them by getting all these chances. Oh, one more. Correa. Rafinha. I'm overlapping on the right. They go over to the left instead. Oh, lovely pass. Oh, too far. I wasn't ready for it. This will be such a big win. I'd love to win the league with Inter Milan first season, especially considering AC Milan at the top. Oh, bad pass, Jekyll. We get it back, though. Look up, out to Rafinha. Again, we're not calling for it. We're just making options, and they do end up past you. Left foot cross in. I saw a player back post. Can't get it to him. Oh, that didn't lock me on. Ah. Kaleta Car, we're forcing them backwards. Oh, the press thing ran out. The R1. God damn it. Go, go, go. Oh, where's the interception there? Felipe Anderson. Easy tackle, easy tackle. And we break, and we break. Out to Rafinha. Come again if you need. He doesn't need. Is he going to try to cross it in? He does. Into Remy Delbeck. Not going to beat Kuwata in the air. Ocampos keeps it alive. Jekko. Left foot volley. Good save. Good effort. Barella goes off. About 10 minutes left. Here's a corner. Decent in handball somewhere. No. Keep it alive, lovely. Take it down this right side. Through ball. Oh, a bit too much. He's not going to get there. I'd love that. I want to get this. I want an assist more than a goal at this point. Like, obviously, I want a goal for the team, but I want to get an. I'd rather get an assist than score the goal myself. Oh, Campos out on the left. I mean, Roman Dubbuck's in there. We're not the tallest. Chanahoglu. Oh, terrible pass. Terrible pass. Keep it alive, lovely. Oh, bad pass, Remy. Don't be losing it there. Away against Lazio. We had this. We should have scored in the first half, to be honest. It's, it's our own fault. All the chances we had. One minute added. That's it, boys. That's it. Ah, nil, nil. We got robbed. Look, we got four skill points. Don't even know what for, but we're going to use them. You know, we're going to use them. Long passing and vision, long passing. We need to get off. See, the thing is, we need to get our finishing up, but 
The only way to get finishing up is... Well, that's finishing a volley, so we'll get that up. 73, 74. Now, the only way to get that up is finish your archetype. 74 finishing for a centimeter is not bad. There's a cup, ca uh, cup game next at home against Udinese. Oh, we have a loan offer. Legans. Is that CD? What are they? CD Legans? Is that like Spanish? A lot of Spanish teams. Well, I don't know if that is Spanish. I think it is. A lot of Spanish teams coming in for us. So I have a Spanish or South American, right? Yeah, it's in the, the second Spanish league. See, like, I, I think going out on loan would be cool just to see different leagues. But going to the Spanish second league, it's just not a bit of me. You know, we have had CD Tadanla, Aruka. We've just had some dead loan offers, man. And if we're getting game time here, I'd rather stay here. Uh, I just want to make sure. Okay, the play base difficulty is still on. Good. Remy Delbeck starts. Uh, Satriano starting up top. Perisic, Berea, Musa on the right. Uh, home against Udinese. San Siro. Massive. Absolutely massive. Coppa Italia, round of 16. Into Milan take on Udinese. Let's go back to winning ways before the league. Because we do have some tough league games still coming up. We went through in the Champions League, of course, like we saw, we have PSG next episode. Going to be absolutely massive. Oh, long ball. Remy Delbeck with a tackle. He goes on his left foot and saved. Was a great pass. Fresh trim. He looks like my trim, to be fair. Lovely ball. The defender messed about with it. I tried to open up and get it on my left. I should have just smacked it, to be honest. Early chance. Corner comes out of it. Headed up, DeVry. Remy Delbeck on the volley. Oh my goodness, Silvestri, another chance. See, I want to get more assists, but we just get a lot of chances. <laughs> I can't help. Look at that lovely touch. Back in edge again. That's a nice corner. Stays alive. DeVry into Correa. I don't know why he didn't shoot there. Correa, someone have a shot. It comes back to Remy. No one wants to shoot. Ref? No. Perisic. Oh, chip through ball. Lovely. Oh, can we head it down? Oh, I tried to head it down. The Correa there would have been a nice little flick on. Bad throw and we keep it. Ferristieri in the box. Defense all over him. Surely there's a tackle in there somewhere. Goes for goal, gets blocked. Remy jumping up to try to block the, another shot. Pereira, oh. Well. We're not. Don't get booked. Don't know about that tackle. I'm going to go on the line just in case. Oh, good save. And he holds on to it. Nice pass into the middle. Try to go for the interception. Half an hour got still 0 0. Ref getting in the way. Oh, watch the left. Watch the left. Number 90. Short sleeves with gloves. Looking awesome. Nice interception, Delbeck. Oh, bad touch. Bad touch. Get rid of it before I lose it. Jesus. Need to start improving our stamina. I think next time we get skill points, we're going to be boosting our stamina a bit. Because get back. Oh, through ball. Has to be Correa 1 on 1. Oh, roof of the net. And there's the assist we wanted. There's the assist we wanted. Correa with the finish. Oh, happy, happy days. That is lovely stuff. Absolutely lovely. Lovely through ball. That's what I want to be doing as a centre mid here at Inter Milan. He absolutely pelted it, mate. Roof of the net. Absolutely smashed it. Don't let them score straight away. Good block. Another good block. Jesus. I like Correa. I do like it. I think he's my favourite player on the team. To play alongside. He's been very, very good. Oh, Remy Delbeck. Nice little flick. It's be a box to box. Half time from our box. Running all the way up here is Remy again. In some space. Satriano is up. He lays him off. First time shot. Roof of the net. From our box to their box. We get the assist. We end up. We cleared it from our corner. Or from their corner, sorry. Ran all the way. Laid me off. Threw ball again. Top there. There's a the thumbnail. Right there. Got the ball back. Correa took one defender off him, laid him off, first time shot, Bosch. Roof of the net, and that is how we can play football here. That's all I want, those cheeky layoffs. You know, the strikers running in front, the cheeky layoffs, and they smash it, top bins, mate. Nice passing. Correa, oh, lovely ball, Correa, Satriano again. On his left foot, makes it three. Easy as you like, mate. Easy as you like. What a finish. Lovely assist from Kerr. Lovely passing from kickoff. Beautiful through ball. The CPU are amazing, man, on FIFA 22. They really are. It's the best year for career mode. It definitely is. When I first saw the improvements they were making, I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, it's decent, but it's just stuff that should have been in FIFA anyway. But actually playing it and the gameplay, the CPU, it is a very good game. I I'm loving it. I really, I'm loving all my team as well on Twitch. Um, 
But they really, they finally improved career mode. Just by making CPU good. That's all they needed to do. Make CPU fun to play with. And it makes career mode so much more fun. Oh, Alex, Alexander Isaac going to Man City. Barea ball over. Jesus, never going to catch that. If Romy Delbeck eventually ends up in the Premier League at one point, I'll be intrigued to see some of the transfers that have happened. You know, we're already halfway through the first season. You know how transfers on FIFA goes. We could go to the Premier League. It might be a completely different league by the time we get there. If we get there, obviously. I'm not saying we will. Normally, you know, it's the best league in the world. So, if the higher we get in overall, it's more likely Premier League teams will come in for us. But we'll see. Lovely layoff there. Remy Delbeck in behind. I wanted to look for the assist. Oh, I went for goal again. And instead of hitting the, uh, the post, we hit the crossbar. Against Lazio, we were 1-1. One one. I went for the finesse. We hit the post. This time, we hit the crossbar. 74 finishing. Clearly not enough to be slotting them away. That is disgusting. Oh, one more, one more. Oh, just about got it off. Correa. Oh, good save. You should have tucked that away, put on bins. They're pushing up now, so we're going to get more chances. Well, we're not, because Remy Delbeck gets subbed off for Rafinha. They end 3-0. Lovely stuff, boys. Lovely stuff. Well, we may change up. We may, we may, you know, in real life, players get taller and short and stuff. So we may, we may mess about our height eventually. We may also mess about our position. You know, it's not, it's not unlikely that players change position and play different positions. I mean, even at Inter Milan, as a centre mid, um, they've been playing us left mid, right mid, left back, right back, and stuff like that. So you never know where Remy Delbeck could go. He may end up as a winger for a season or two. Uh, he may go back to center. And people also go back. Like, I remember Theo Walcott, obviously, he was a winger his career. I remember for Arsenal, he wanted to play. It. He, there was a period where he was like, I want to play up top, you know? Uh, Alexis Sanchez uh, was a left winger. We played him, you know, played him up top and whatnot. I mean, Bukayo Saka, we used to play him as a left back, then as a right back. He's played right uh, left wing. Now he plays right wing. Uh, so it's not unlike players to change their... Uh, Gareth Bale used to be a left back, went to left wing. Uh, now he's a right winger. Um, you know, you could play him up top if you wanted to. So it's not unlike players to change uh, positions after a few seasons. So you never know. It's in the game now. So we may as well use it. Oh, I'll ruin that counter-attack. Like I say, on, the, on our Twitch save, we started as a left winger. Um, and after the first season, we changed to a striker. It did take our overall down. It was a 79 over, I think. And we changed to a striker and went down to 76. So if Remy Delbeck does change, we may um, lose some overall points as well. And end up. I think it also changes your manager rating. Because we were a starting 11. And then when we changed position, it went to a sub. So that might be like the what the, the payoff for changing your position. It resets your manager rating. So we'll see. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want to change your position? Or should we stay as a camp for now? I'm liking a sentiment for now. For Romeo Delbeck. Being the playmaker here. I guess it also depends on the team. You know, if the team has good strikers, we'll want to be a winger or a cam. If the team doesn't have good strikers, maybe we'll change to a striker player top for a bit. Or if they're lacking wingers, you know. So it might just be depending on what the team needs of us. I wasn't so sure of it at first. In the previous episodes, I was sort of slating it, saying it's stupid. But if you think about it, again, it's, you know. I wish it was a bit more like Pez. Oh, great save, Andanovic. That's why I want to be a goalkeeper. Just to test out the, 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 the animations. Um, I wish it was a bit more like Pez, where you actually have to, like, train the position. And then... Well, okay. They scored a header. Um, and then, like, the, maybe the manager will play there, rather than just going... Um, like from a striker to a goalkeeper or something stupid like that. But it should be fun. 1-0 down early on. Is that Eric down? So wait, what team? I don't even know what team this is, Bergamo. Oh, people are probably screaming in the comments. Mail as well. I do know who it is. Oh, it's going to bug me now. It's going to bug me. It's going to bug me. Let me check. Oh, good interception. Unlucky. I really want to play in the Bundesliga. Because apparently they have... I've not played there yet, but apparently they have, like, new scoreboards and stuff, which I've alluded to before. But I really want to play in the Bundesliga, but not just for any Bundesliga team, you know? I've not been there yet in any player career mode. Oh, big interception. Dzeko out to Remy Delbeck. Oh, is Correa onside? What a ball! Oh, my God, he's onside. Oh, my God. That is a pass and a half. From Remy Delbeck. That's why I like being a midfielder. Jesus. I'm going to use that as a thumbnail in a future episode. What a ball. I couldn't tell if he was on side or not. Look at this. We've got it on the right side. Bosh. Pitch perfect. Left foot first time shot. Top of the net. What a pass across. And what a finish. Wow. Remy Delbeck. So inspirational. And Correa continues his good form. 
Every time I see goalkeepers make saves on this, I, I love the animation. I remember when it first... Well, it's still obviously just first came out. It's still brand new. But a lot of people were complaining. Look at that. Look at that. A lot of people were complaining about the goalkeepers saying they're too overpowered. They make too many ridiculous saves. I think they're perfect. I really hope they don't get downgraded at all. At all. I think the saves they make are very realistic of the saves they make in real life. Pass down line. They've had five shots on target. We've had one shot on target and it's 1-1. One, one. I love it. Usually that happens against us. It's nice to have a uh, tap before us. We are at home though. And although they're a good team, I want to be winning, especially in the league. Since we drew the first game against Lazio. Do advance a batter. One more. Darun. Oh my god. I thought that skill would have actually done it then. I thought we got the keep out of position. Makes another great save. Oh, left, left, left. Couldn't quite aim it at Campos. The rune with the touchdown. We're back trying to help out here. Nice tackle. Keep it on, you idiot. Jacko, Jacko, keep it. Oh, I really like Jacko in real life, but so far this season, he's definitely been a bit iffy. I don't know. He's not been that goal scoring tool striker that I love in real life. Oh no, Darun. Oh, and Danovic. Big, big, big save. Yes, quick, quick, quick. Throw, throw, throw. See, these ones I call for it just because I'm open. I don't want him to do it quickly, you know? Oh, Dink. I think he's off. Oh, we're not even going to see. He's not going to make it. I was hesitant there. Rafinha. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. I'm sick of drawing games. Correa, one more. Shouldn't have called for it. I should have just let him do his thing. Ten minutes to play, boys. If we want to win this league this season, and we go, boys, and we go. And then Jacko. One more. Lovely. Remy Delbeck. Up to Correa. Back to Delbeck. Oh, the last pass, man. Every time. If we get another draw, I'm going to be fuming. 90th minute. 90th minute. It's now or never. Correa. Chip through ball. Oh, it's never. Eric died with a header. Oh, my God. No. I pressed circle to tackle. I pressed circle to tackle. I could have got that and ran, been one on one. Oh my god, it ends 1-1. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I pressed circle to tackle and stick a leg in. And it shot. Almeri again. La Liga, the, the second one. I don't it doesn't look like we're going to be tra uh, loaned. We have back-to-back -back games against Fiorentina. We've got Fiorentina in the league and then in the cup and then Torino. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to save this for next episode. Fiorentina double... In the quarterfinal and the league are both away. And then Torino, three games away. And then we have Sassuolo, Napoli, and PSG. So I think we'll save some of them for next episode. We'll see if we get loaned. So I'm going to split January in half as well. We'll see if we get loaned out. We're currently fourth in the league. Falling behind AC Milan, nine points away. We need to start picking up some wins. Hopefully you have enjoyed and hopefully you're excited for more. I've been how to be awesome. It's really good. And I'm signing up. Bye bye for now. Much love as always. Take care. And peace. I can't believe this kid My stand up for an idiot kid Slap see a man get murked Two paintings in a whip I'm a read this kid In a back like Donny Demur Sat in the back like Donny Demur I think the blonde thing's feeling heavy He in the middle he putting in work Coming like Sutton like Coffee Kawassi If he up top then he's scoring a hattie Same way he does when a man plays clubs This year the Brody hit 10k Next year that's 50,000 subs I swear